The Golden State Warriors will eventually write a new script, turning the page as a franchise with a clearly defined story. The director is in place, and so are the executive producers. I'm a story man. We want to tell a great story. We want to live a great story. We want to be a great story. That was Peter Goober, days after he and Joe Lacob purchased the franchise. Several months after that, he began sharing his story and those of others in what's become a best-selling book about the power of story, Tell to Win. This is not a secret. It's the way we're all wired. It's in our DNA. My job, my role, my mission was to shine the light on it. Which he does with numerous examples of how he and a variety of successful people in all types of business have excelled by having a compelling tale that can easily be retold by others. If you can't tell it, you can't sell it. When you want someone to buy your product, vote for you, join your team, do better as a sports team, whatever you want them to do, in order to move them to action, the best, most popular, most violent, successful tool is the ability to tell your story. Stats and information are critical to virtually every sport and all types of businesses. But to get to the heart of any listener, Goober contends that embedding those figures into a narrative is what creates meaning and further makes the information memorable. It allows the person that hears it, that audience, that customer, that client, that team member, allows them to metabolize it, to own it, and be able to pay the story forward in a sense, become a viral advocate, an apostle, evangelize the product or the service. So the secret is, that's the way you turn on the power of your product. And to this day, having taught for many years at UCLA, Goober shares these concepts with the zeal of an academic, but it's all backed by the weight of a career full of amazing stories from the worlds of film, music, sports, and other creative endeavors. 80% of it's the telling and 20% is the story. The story is just a physical vehicle. But telling it, understanding that, that you have to motivate, not your, the, your person listening, but yourself. Are you motivated? Is your intention aligned? Is your intention there before you try to get their attention? If that isn't there, you're not going to look authentic. It won't shine through. He's well known for the blockbuster movies that he's produced and the stars he's worked with along the way. His ability to adapt in the storytelling process helped gain one of his documentary film crews key access to the Havana Harbor upon convincing Cuban President Fidel Castro that a historical legacy could be preserved with permission to film in the harbor. His sheer persistence in the protection of the last surviving silverback mountain gorillas led to the landmark film Gorillas in the Mist. But one of the great stories of his career centers around not words, but music. Goober's inspiration to create an album in celebration of the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles led to the John Williams composition that has become part of the Olympic fanfare to this very day. Look how music creates an impression, an emotional impression on its audience. Music is story, music is narrative. It's a different form, just like art and food is narrative. So I thought to myself, what if each movement of the Olympics could have its similar movement in music? Now the stories he's immersed in regard the variety of minor league baseball teams that he operates, as well as an NBA franchise, in need of a comeback story. Sports is a palette for drama. It is a, it is a theater, and it, it sets itself up as a theater. So it's a perfect uh, platform to explore how narrative works. And so basketball is a terrific proscenium, a Broadway proscenium for those kinds of stories and those kinds of narratives. And that's what sells a team, that's what sells the brand, that's what sells the fans, that's what sells the players, and that's what sells the TV audience. It's the way it works. In pretty much each of these stories shared in the book is a sense of humor and a roadmap for how to make connections with purposeful stories. And just like excelling in sports, it might take practice. But here's what I do know, it's no risk. You don't have to call your doctors after four hours. It's absolutely no risk. It's a jackpot proposition with no risk. Just use narrative as a power to emotionalize your offering, and it works in sports, in business, in law, in politics. Narrative makes up our life. So this is inside of you. Just use any of the tools.